All right, so here's the former UFC interim welterweight champion, Colby Covington, and whether he's banging on the Brazilians or going at fans on Twitter, there's a lot that encompasses this total package of Colby Covington. He's a hell of a fighter, though. But ultimately, it's about the fighting, and the fighting ability is what has carried Colby to such a great start in his UFC career. A former champion, a guy that's been in there with the very best of the division, and when he's been in there, he's been able to get his hand raised. I always go back to the Rafael Dos Anjos fight, and I watch Kobe put a pace on him that Dos Anjos, who is also known as cardio, could not keep. It was inspiring to watch, and if you know Kobe before fighting, you know that he trains as hard as anybody in the world to try to accomplish his goal. Yes, he is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion, Leon Rocky Edwards. Obviously, there weren't many people picking him to beat Kamar Usman at UFC 278. But that fight was scheduled for 25 minutes. He needed all of them. He produced one of the greatest highlights in UFC history. He did. He needed 24 minutes and 30 seconds in order to become the champion. But he never gave up on himself. It seemed as though everything was trending in the wrong direction and he got the job done. Leon Edwards is a phenomenal fighter. He's very well-rounded, and he's real big for the weight yeah. class. And you see his physicality come into play in that first round against Kamaru Usman, taking him down and controlling him on the ground. Right. But tonight he has a different challenge. He doesn't have the guy that brings all the accolades. He has a young, hungry lion that's looking to knock him off his throne. And we will see how Leon handles this challenge, but of course increased eyeballs on Leon Edwards given what he was able to accomplish in becoming the man at 170 pounds. And now our kill the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Kobe Chaos Covington. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky. And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, folks, you are looking live at two of the best pound for pound fighters in the game today. Colby Covington chasing that immortality, undisputed greatness against the incumbent, Leon Rocky Edwards. Colby Covington has long lived at the top of his division. Leon Edwards now lives at the very top of his division. He is the champion. And he carries that championship swagger about himself. The guys are stuck. Edwards has got the clinch here. Early connection with the left from the champ. Oh, beautiful strike in there by Leon Edwards. He has really become a well-rounded welterweight. You saw in the Gunnar Nelson fight how good his wrestling defense was. But Leon Edwards is a real problem. This pace early on to this one. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Oh, big elbow. Oh, he hit him again. Oh, he's so Oh, gets back to his feet. Oh, huge kick to the leg. 
Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the game. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that opportunity. Yeah, yeah. He's doing a really good job of putting himself in position. Covington's in half court. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. The guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. And Woods trying to make some of these ground strikes count. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Covington. Back to the feet now. Oh, yes, it is a lost guard in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right to the chin, too. Uppercut counter by Covington. Those are big strikes. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before he gets worse. Just over two minutes to go. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Edwards. He's having his way with him here. Oh, right into mouth. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Covington. He's got to be careful here. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Well, not a guy you want on top of you. Ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by Covington. Great job landing the strikes on his back. the half. Covington's back in full mount. Under a minute to go. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Referee helping here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Big elbow there, Lance. 20 seconds left. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Edwards is in half court. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. Listen, you've got to go out there and secure that takedown. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, here we go with the start of round two. Ready, Leon Edwards Ready. versus Colby yeah. Covington. His opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover and get him off the hook. He needed to really put a throw in the gas to try to find that finish. 
Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Oh, it's not going to get you. Oh, he might be in trouble. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Oh, he got to his spot. Edwards is in half guard now. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Covington's back in full now. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai defense. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing right now. All right, side control now. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Covington. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to good job by the champ there. Slide back out. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. And no surprise the crowd is talking. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, he's got the back. He's got to isolate a hit to try to break that lock. Breaking the lock is step number one to escape it. My champ's starting to see some swelling upstairs now. But he's taking way too many shots to the head. You got to move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, lead to your face going to swell. Oh, and now lands a kick to the body. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice takedown defense. Look at him attacking that guillotine. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, that guillotine choke is tough. How in the world did he escape that submission? Edwards has got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. Very active off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Good work from the top here by Covington. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, and then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. <laughs> Covington's in half guard. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Lands the ground and pound strike. <laughs> Final seconds here of round two. All right, round three coming up next. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, that was nice. That was perfect. Good round. He's rocked. He's still rocked, all right? He's ready to be finished in this next one, all right?
You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allowed him. Oh, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. His misses are out all right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. Very fast leg kick lands for him. He does everything so well and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Nice elbow. I can't tell if that opened up the cut or not. That's how you do it. Beautiful kick by him there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Just over three minutes to go. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Covington. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. All right, feet on the hips here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Edwards. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. Edwards is back in full guard now. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Not being just offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved I mean, but he's right. right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard one thing you can't be is flat on your back you need to be up on an elbow right you need to be half on the side and you need to control the far side underhook it is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back edwards is in half guard now he's going full mount hard ground and pound shot there and yes it was hard open him right up Covington getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. This is where he wants to be. Big right hook there by the champ. Strong reversal there. Covington's right back to the full mount here. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. All right, north-south position now. We'll see 
how he chooses to proceed. All right, three rounds oh. down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal Ready. with. He's got one of the best Ready. fighters in front of him, Good. and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Just got to be careful here. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Get the ball here. In the half guard. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Covington's going for a choke. That guillotine choke is getting very close. He's got to lock the guard, though, if he wants to finish. Oh, working for the submission again. They're both struggling so much to get out of this position. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Edwards' eye is closing up. All right, he's in a half-guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage could be done from the half-guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you get up that underhook, your opponent can use the half-guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Covington gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Von Fluke. He's got the side now. Oh, he escapes. There goes another one. And once again, he just bats it away. Great submission defense. He cut him. He cut him. So many ground strikes landed that eventually he got him cut. Under two minutes here to go round four. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Covington's back to the side control now. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He is now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. Are right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. Covington's able to transition back to side control now. 
All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get on. Yeah, Page and Alexio Lennox, somehow he got out though. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. He needs to move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that Ready. cut on his cheek. I just said, he's got a big mouth. <laughs> Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Covington. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Edwards gets stunned there by that stiff jab. All right, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now. And he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that roof to try to get this victory. Solid takedown. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. <clears throat> While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Covington. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. He gets to the single collar tie. Look at the flare on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Mm, that was nice. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Three minutes now to go in this one. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now, he's got to do something to try to limit the damage. Otherwise, it's going to get real bad. It's a mouth. Edwards' eye looks so swollen now, you've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured orbital. Excellent ground and pound here by Covington. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Covington's right back to the full mount. Lands with the ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike gets home. He's got to be careful here. Yeah. 
Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass him all the way off. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling. That's good defense to get that guard up. Oh, big knee! Now he's back up. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals come and go tonight. I like running back at some point, no matter how this one is. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two, and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Oh, and there's the final horn. We go to the scorecards. One of the greatest fights that we have seen all year. We'll Ladies see and how the judges saw five it. Five Here rounds, is Bruce Buffett. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by majority decision, and still the undisputed UFC Walter Wade champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. All right, so you heard it there from Bruce Buffer. No real suspense when it came to the judges' scorecards. A clean, complete effort out of the welterweight champion, Leon Edwards, tonight. Massive victory for the champ. Leon Edwards looked great tonight. He looked like the champion. He carries himself like the champion. He can fight everywhere. He's comfortable everywhere. And tonight, he earns a decision victory, a very impressive decision victory. And unlike in some past fights, he got off to a very good start tonight. Congratulations to Leon Edwards, your winner by decision.